Good morning, my name is Daryl Brogdon. Today I want to show you how to connect two PC10Gs with version 3.61 or higher using Ethernet IP. And I've got PLC1 on the left and PLC2 on the right. First I'll go on the link parameters. I'll double click. I'll be using the built-in ports. So I'll click built-in. I'll be using link 1 and the protocol will be Ethernet IP. Now I go to detail, right, 2, 168, 251 will be my address for this PLC. And I want to receive the information from PLC2. I will be the originator. I'll set up target. I will be using tags. The target that I'm going for is 192.168.252. My tag will be from PLC2. Input settings, the information and the, that I want it coming to will be M, EM036L. Eight bytes, four words. This is the range that the information will be coming to. And I'll go to PLC2 and do the exact same thing. Click OK. Enter my IP address for PLC2. I will do, I will be the target since I will be sending information to the originator. I will be using tags to ensure that I have the correct tag because they must match exactly. I usually copy and paste to ensure there's no errors. Um, <clears throat> The words or bits I will be using, the range will be EM046L, eight bytes, four words. I push OK, OK, and now that is set up. I'll push F2 to create a new rung, F3 to create a contact, and S7 to create a call. I'll use the first bit of the first word I'm sending stuff, sending to the PLC. So I use EM0460. And I'll go to PLC1 where the information is coming to. I'll push F2 and then F3. And since I'm using EM04, EM036 as the first word, then I'll use EM0360 and then I'll put a contact in I mean a call M01. So now it's set up that when this coil is energized, I will now see this bit come on. Thank you for your time and I hope this video was helpful.